if you look around the African continent, I don't think I personally would feel uh, particularly confident about the future in regard to the affairs of these companies uh, under purely African control. I think they've got to make the best of the existing uh, position, and I think they've taken the right line. In view of your recent talk with uh, Dr. Verbois, do you think it's possible that South Africa and Southern Rhodesia can form a white bastion on the African continent? Well, of course, I dislike the term white bastion. Uh, I can't, of course, express any views for South Africa, nor can I speak for Southern Rhodesia. I'm Prime Minister of neither country. I'm Prime Minister of the Federation, which is in the, in the process of expiring. But if by a bastion you mean a bastion of civilization, then I think it is very necessary and in the interest of the West today, that steps should be taken to maintain the standards of civilization and integrity that we have brought to this part of Africa. And if that is what is meant by a bastion, then of course I'm all for it. Sir Roy, do you think a violent solution to the conflict between white and black is inevitable? I don't think it's inevitable, but I think it has become closer, the possibilities have become closer, as a result of the destruction of the Federation which was based on the con concept of a, of a non-racial state. I think now, as a result of the British government's decision, it is quite clear, of course, that African nationalism is to be pandered to at any price, with a net result that the white man on this continent has been forced to reassess his own position. And now, sir, what are your own plans for the future? Well, this is a difficult one because no one really believes me when I say that I accept the fact that I've been kicked out of politics. I haven't retired. Uh, the British government has uh, taken steps which have led to my removal from the political scene. And frankly, I should be happy uh, to fade off or fade out of the political picture altogether. I have no intention of intervening in territorial politics in any of the three territories. My own inclination is now to spend what is left of my time in writing of my experiences of the last six or seven years, which I think will be quite illuminating, and also to spend some time fishing and doing some of the things that I want to do.